to come through now. Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do first of all is just to sit on the couch here. I'll explain to you what we're going to be doing. Um, your head is going to be lying in this uh, head coil here. Um, top of the head coil is a bit like a mask, it comes down over your face. And then there's a mirror on top of that. And when the couch is at this height, The tests that they do in the MRI scanner um, take about an hour and there's various um, types. The first case we acquire a structural image. So this uh, tells us the shape and the size and the different tissue types in each person's brain. Uh, then we run a sequence which is um, called diffusion tensor imaging or DTI which allows us to look at the white matter tracks that connect different parts of the brain together. Hi, are you okay in there? Hello, yes. Okay, well, I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. That's great, well done. So we've just got to check a couple of things before we start. Okay. If you could squeeze that buzzer, I know you can, but just do it again for me. That's lovely, thank you. We then do a resting state scan, where people, again, just lie still and relax. And for that, we're measuring changes in blood oxygenation, or blood flow, uh, as the brain is at rest. Um, we also do several other sequences which have what are called different MR contrasts that give us different sensitivity to the amount of myelin in the brain. So the myelin is the fatty tissue that is around nerve cells which also um, is impaired as we get older. Okay, we're just going to do the scan with the task now, is that alright? Okay, so you just need to remember that, um, each time, each and every time you um, see checkerboards on the screen, you just press your index mm. finger button once. Each time mm. you hear sounds, just press, just uh, again, press once. Mm. And when there's a combination of checkerboards and sounds, again, you need to just mm. to press that once. Okay, well done. Uh, we also do a very simple task where people see visual flashes they hear tones and they press a key. And this is called our sensory motor task. And it's a very easy task to do, but it allows us to trace out which parts of the brain are active when we um, see things, hear things, or, or do things. And that same scan, uh, sorry, that same task, we can also do in the MEG scanner. So we can now, using the higher resolution, higher temporal resolution of MEG, we can look at how um, connectivity between the visual area, the auditory area and the motor area uh, change um, over time. So during that one hour of MRI they actually do a number of different scans which are all tuned finely to detect different uh, aspects of the brain's structure and resting state function. Each time somebody comes for the first time they get a picture of their brain um, to take away so I'm just going to prepare that. Again, I've got the three sections, but this is of the, of the structural scan I've just done. So I'm just going to scroll down through the head. We're at the top of the head at the moment. We're just coming into the top part of the brain, where you can just see the, uh, the folds of the um, cerebrum at the top there, and the two hemispheres, the um, interhemispheric fissure dividing the two hemispheres, the right hemisphere and the left. And then going on down through the brain, to the ventricles, there's the, the black ellipsis there with the ventricles going down through the midventricular area, through the different parts, and then down to the eyes, and then into the hind part of the brain, there's the cerebellum, and you can see how the brain is there as well. But for the image, um, we give them an image through the midventricular area of the brain. Uh, and um, this is what they take away. Yeah.